Hey guys, what is up? I know it's been so long since I've done this. It's just because, as I told you on Twitter, uh, my friend Martin took my SD card and, and he didn't give it back for like a week, so now I'm finally able to start recording stuff again. And the worst part was, while I didn't have my camera, I wanted to record films for all of these demos here, but I never got to because yeah. I didn't have my camera here, so... Yeah. But anyways, we're not talking about the demos, because today we're talking about yeah. Kirby 64. Yes, I've got my classic controller. Nintendo 64. Dun, dun, dun. In case anyone cares, I'm recording this right when I got back from school, so. Yeah. And we are now on to Neo Star. Rock power up is so stupid. Okay, out of all the power ups, why did they choose to make the rock power up a recurring power up? It's like it's the dumbest power up ever, yet it's in pretty much every Kirby game. Yeah, and you can pretty much guess where the light spots are, you'll fall through the floor. It's really. No, okay, you don't fall through that. It's just kind of odd because I know you got it. You want to check them because sometimes they actually contain good things. And why am I getting hit so much? All right, this is Neo Star. I just remembered. Yeah, from this point on, this is where the game really, really revs up the difficulty. Like, don't get me wrong, it's still not hard, but like for Kirby standards, yeah, this this could be this for Kirby standards. This is pretty hard. And a lot of people like this game because it's extra challenging. Damn it, I wanted to get that power. A lot of people like this game because it's extra challenging compared to the other Kirby games, but... Like, it's a little bit too hard. See? You have to check. It's a little bit too hard to be enjoyable. Like, it's not hard enough to give a challenge, yet it's too hard to be enjoyable. Also, Don't get me wrong, it's still fun. This is part of the reasons why I think this is my least favorite Kirby game. Still not bad, just... Anything down here worth getting? Yep. More ladders, and because Kirby can only fly for a little while, ladders are actually useful in this one. Uh, feels good recording... Eh, again. Ouch, ouch. That's it, I'm... No, not worth it. Don't touch the side. Or get raped by that guy. But Cheap. Okay, I'll be fair. Just a Actually, most of these hits I'm getting right now are just my fault. But, yeah. Oh, come on. Like, worse than the, than the AI in Super Smash Bros. Yeah. Damn it. You're fucking kidding me. Uh, no. Jesus. You are gonna die. <laughs> Why do I remember this part giving me hell? Okay, I know it wasn't for that, but for some reason I remember this part giving me hell for some reason and I just can't re quite remember why. I think it might be this. Like, again, it's not hard as long as you focus, but I don't want to focus in a Kirby game. Fine, hello, thank you. Nope, what the... Anytime now. I know that there's a shard around here somewhere, I just... Why am I leaning so close to the camcorder? Jesus. I really gotta control my cell phone when I'm recording. 
I don't know. I've still never really been been able to like. Yeah, there's a shard somewhere, but you guys can get it on your own. Anything? Nope. Just check it. Oh god. No, stop doing that. Is it just me or is this the only Kirby game where you can't suck enemies through objects? Because I'm pretty sure you could do that in the other ones. Don't. Yeah, you definitely could. I I can't. I know you could because in uh, Kirby's Adventure they completely based a thing around it. For some reason they decided to change it so that you can only uh, suck that you can't suck enemies through walls. That's kind of like how you can also use power ups under. I don't think that was supposed to happen because I think Kirby's was supposed to change directions when he's sucking upward. But whatever. Like, oh my god, it's all epic. Oh wait, no, it's not epic. That's pretty epic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's probably shards somewhere. Go ahead and find it if you want to. There it is. Jeez, this game. Mean a little? Yeah, those things fall. Whoa! That last one falls really fast. And now we've got, now we've become invincible. Oh, like, whatever. I love how it seems like the rock guys are actually jumping when you uh, hit their blocks or whatever. Yeah. Was there any real point to that room? No. <laughs> What's the point of having the stars there if they're worth so little? And yes, I remember this stage, because this is one of the stages where I haven't caught all the shards. This and, uh, I think it was... Yeah, we've already been there. The one with the blocks. I think these are the last... Are the only two stages I can't get all the shards on. Just... Just the one where you have to, like... Make the item with the blocks, which doesn't make any sense, and this one, did I, yeah, I missed a shard, whatever. I won't get all the shards here anyways. It's the very last one this level. Like, we've already passed the first two. First one was right at the beginning, then we had the, then we had the one right there on the rail section, and the last one wasn't focusing. The last one we get is, uh is right at the very end of the level. So we go from the beginning, so we get two right away at the beginning, then you have to go through the entire, and it's right at the end you get the last one. I know where it is, and I know how to get it. I've just been way too lazy to ever actually get it. And by lazy, I mean, I don't want to have to keep on doing this level a billion times over and over again, just to get, just to keep on trying to get, use that one power up at that one time. I'll explain once we get there. Hall Laboratory, I think you took the term on rails a little bit too literally. Eh, you know, it's whatever, it's cool. These aren't as bad as the as the Great Cave offense in Kirby Superstar. Anybody who's played Kirby Superstars knows what I'm talking about. Those completely, totally random unnecessary rooms where you were between the and the great cave offense where eh, never mind. Anyone who played the game knows what I'm talking about. Come out. Barrel. Barrel. There's a little light thing up there if you wanted, but and right 
there. Right there. <laughs> yeah, it's better to touch the, uh... What are they called? These things, whatever they're called. I don't know. I can name pretty much all the basic enemies in Kirby Superstar. And once you get an en you know how you can get the enemies' cards in this game? If you get their card, then it tells you their name. And that's pretty much all the cards you can do. No stats, like no... Yes, it just says their name and what ability they give you if they give you an ability. 